Forecasters are tracking Hurricane Dorian's path through the Caribbean. After pounding the U.S. and British Virgin Islands with rain and wind, the storm is expected to strengthen over the next few days, leaving coastal states in the storm's path on edge. Nadia Romero is in Puerto Rico with more. Damage and destruction. Hurricane Dorian is lashing the Caribbean with heavy rain and damaging winds. The storm's outer bands reached as far as eastern Puerto Rico, but the brunt of the storm's wrath fell on the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Downed trees blocked roads and streets filled with water as the storm churned over St. Thomas. This storm is not to be trusted. Um, it jumped all over the place and really started forming off of the west end of St. Thomas, and they really took a battering. President Trump approved an emergency declaration for Puerto Rico. Federal agencies will also provide critical aid to the U.S. territories and the Caribbean. But as Hurricane Dorian pushes north, back into the warm, open waters of the Atlantic Ocean, forecasters warn the storm could strengthen to a Category 3 hurricane. As it barrels towards the U.S. mainland through the weekend, the storm's unpredictable path has coastal states on edge. Officials in Florida and Georgia are bracing for the worst. We're, we're not exactly sure where the storm is going to go, um, but you need to start preparing now if you're in the coastal communities. Florida's governor declared a state of emergency Wednesday, urging residents to prepare themselves ahead of a potential disaster and have seven days worth of supplies ready, including food, water and medicine. In Ponce, Puerto Rico, Nadia Romero reporting for NewsNet.